Hey, welcome to another video about Final Cut Pro for the iPad. In this video, we're gonna teach you how to use multicam clips within Final Cut Pro. It's pretty simple, but you do need to know how to do it. So let's jump into it. Hey, welcome to the video. Now, if you're new to Final Cut Pro for the iPad, you may wanna check out our entire playlist that we have for Final Cut Pro for the iPad and Final Cut Pro for the desktop. Now, as mentioned, I'm gonna show you how you can use multicam clips in Final Cut Pro. It works similar to the desktop version, but it is a little bit different. So let's just jump straight into it. So I've got these three clips here at the top, you can see. If I just click between them, you can see they are different angles. These are angles that we've recorded with the Sony a7S III, my iPhone 14 Pro, and Lewis's iPhone as well. So uh, a multicam situation is pretty good if you maybe are doing product reviews and you want to show a top-down view, maybe you've got different presenters and you want to cut between uh, you or the other person, really, really handy for that. So essentially how you do this within Final Cut Pro for the iPad, at the bottom here, you select multicam. So we're gonna tap that and it's gonna open this little view here. Now we are gonna tap new multicam on the left here. And then we're gonna select the three clips that we wanna use as multicam. Now, just a tip here, if you are recording multicam, it's important for syncing purposes that you record audio on all of the devices. It doesn't matter if it's not that great audio, if it's iPhone audio, that's fine but Final Cut is gonna use that audio to sync the footage together. So I'm gonna select these three clips here like this and hit next. It's then gonna bring up the new multicam clip. I'm just gonna call that multicam, but call it whatever you want. If you have multiple ones, you may wanna rename these to make these easy to find. Now this is the important part. You can see it says synchronize using audio. You do want that on for a better synchronization. And then format, automatic, I'm gonna leave that on automatic, but you can of course adjust the settings. So I'm gonna click create there. Now, what you can see has happened, we've got essentially a new timeline here and we have our three angles. And as you can see, some of these angles are currently showing as black. So if I tap between them, only one is active. Now, the reason for that is because when we were recording this, we were recording this demo a little bit later on and the whole project really gets started around about here. If I just play that through, you can see that's where the project starts. So I'm gonna quickly just cut the footage here by tapping this button here, and I'm just gonna delete this first part. So then I know I'm really only dealing with the main multicam section. So essentially how multicam works, it's super, super easy. You just tap the different angles, right? So we're gonna play through this, and as you can see, we've got me talking. If I wanna change to angle two, I press angle two and angle three. So let's go through and do that now three cameras. I have the Sony a7S III in front of me, the iPhone 14 Pro to the right, and another iPhone to the left of me. And I'm going to show you how we can use these three cameras as an example to edit in multicam. So we're going to be using this as an example. Right now I'm looking at the camera. In front. Okay, so we've done that there and all I had to do was just tap angle one, angle two, angle three, and it's doing those edits for you. So instead of bringing in three different clips and watching them all and working out when you should cut. This makes it super simple to get that edit done. Now, when you first open up this multicam editor, it's gonna be in split and switch mode, which you can see up here. So as you can see, if I just get rid of the multicam now, if we zoom in, you can see at these points, I'm just gonna turn this volume down a little bit on here. As we play through, you can see it's gonna make a cut. It's gonna to cut to the left angle, a cut, go to the right angle and so on. So you can now, actually edit and color correct these clips differently. But what about if you wanna change the angle? Maybe, for example, on this angle here, you can see I'm talking to camera, but I'm not actually looking at camera. If we go back into multicam and tap this, highlight that clip, and then change this here at the bottom right from split and switch down to switch only. This means if you were to have it in split and switch, let me just quickly show you. If I change the angle to there, it's gonna make another cut and only cut from that point. So let's undo that with command and Z. We change that now to switch only, and then I change it to the front facing camera. It's gonna change that entire clip from that point. And you can see here, if I play through, it's using that whole switch there from that point on. 
Now that's how you use Multicam in Final Cut Pro. It's super simple and I want you to give it a go and let me know what you think of it and leave your comments here in the comments section below this video. Now if you are new to Final Cut Pro, check out the entire playlist because we have a full mini series just guiding you from beginner to pro using Final Cut Pro for the iPad. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video coming up right here.